Hello guys, this is Mike Vertisim and welcome back to the channel. If you are a subscriber, welcome back and if you're new to the channel, thanks for clicking on the video. So let's talk about dynamic level of detail, dynamic LOD and what it can do for you in VR. So as you see, I have the um, the LOD app, dynamic LOD app uh, open here in the, on the screen in VR. I can't see it, but you can see it uh, in the video. And I've made some settings. So what can it do for you? Well, we all know when we approach an airport, you're on final and suddenly you get a lot of stutters. That's because the scenery is loading in all, all the details. And when you get a little bit of an overload, you get stutters. Um, and that's not good. Which sometimes the uh, the headset will will black out for a moment, or that has all to do with uh, with VRAM, and especially with the headset. You need the well, how I say it. You need the amount of of FPS the amount of headroom for the headset to load in the scenery and still have a smooth flight so what this program does is when you're close to the ground you have a lower level of detail I have set it to 100 at 0 AGL that's above ground level not above main sea level so when I'm on the airport I have a LOD of 100 when I go to 1500 feet, I have an LOD of, uh, not sure what it says, I think it's 120. If I go to 3000 feet, it's 150. If I go to up to 5000 feet or higher, it's going to be uh, 200. So that's a gradual um, amount of level of detail that is brought into the sim because the higher you fly the less detail you will see on the ground but you will see that uh, vegetation buildings um, boats are being drawn in and the same goes for the terrain level of detail you want more terrain so you got the same objects that are loaded in and and the terrain and when you approach and you go lower you want it a little bit less so you keep the amount of FPS and a smooth flight so I've set my limit for the FPS when I go below 28 which it is right now as you can see it will reduce the LOD uh, for the terrain LOD and the uh, object LOD by 20 for only 20 seconds so now it's 25 because it got huge clouds coming in so let's take off and see what it does and I'll climb out to about uh, 4000 feet maybe 5 or higher and then we'll see what the uh, the level of detail will do. You will see the numbers. You can see the uh, the average uh, frames per second and the LOD what it's uh, what what is set now. All right. So let's take off. Let's uh, release the parking brake here and let's go. Here we go. You know, it's 28, 30. Well, the feet flaps up. So 
So as you can see, I'm, I'm now uh, 31 frames per second. I can see that uh, with the uh, FPS counter from the uh, OpenXR toolkit. We're climbing, we're climbing, we're going uh, over 1500 feet, and now 1300, still climbing. And uh, let's turn to the, uh, to the left for a moment. Uh, more clouds over there. So now it's 25. So now I'm 28, 27, and it will reduce the LED until I'm again above 28. It will reduce the set LOD less uh, with it will decrease it by 20. So now I'm at 29. It will go back to the normal set LOD level. So especially when you're flying in and out of clouds, your FPS will uh, will drop. But mine stays really good now, around 30, 33, 34, sometimes 35. And this is really smooth flying. So this program, you only need to have this program running in the background. set your level of uh, detail settings for the uh, altitudes and enjoy the flight it's really amazing see now I'm 36 so it's gonna use the uh, the set LOD levels I'm going to three to above 3000 feet but I'm flying over the mountains so my altitude is now 3000 but probably my uh, AGL is less so bear in mind that the settings that you set in the uh, in the program are AGL and not MSL because I'm now 3300 feet MSL but I don't have to worry because I'm uh, well above 28 frames per second I can look around and it is beautiful and so smooth so this is really a game changer I was struggling a bit in the in the beginning when I was using the software I um, I set the uh, the levels wrong so the higher I went up the less detail was drawn on the ground so cities were disappearing so don't make that mistake I was flying and I like wait a minute there should be a uh, very big city here but I can't see it because I I've, I've changed the LOD settings to uh, about 40 or something and the whole city disappeared and especially with uh, cities that are photogrammetry you will notice that they look terrible so the higher you go the higher the LOD setting should be I'm using the maximum of 200 because uh, with 200 I'll see enough and I still have enough uh, headroom uh, for the headset to give me a very smooth flight and I don't fly at 10,000 20,000 feet I fly with uh, general aviation like 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 this one the uh, black square Cara Grand Caravan it's it's an amazing aircraft uh, I'm, I'm not seeing a okay, got a chip detector or right, so but I have to reset that one here we go <laughs> that's easy so now I'm 4200 feet 30 to 37 frames per second with these clouds so we're gonna fly through these clouds let's see where's the airport outside over there 
gonna fly through these clouds and then uh, come in for a landing and you will see when I go through these clouds the uh, the FPS will drop a little bit I set the trim but still it's so smooth and this will remove any stutters you will get on a uh, on an approach coming in for landing short final and then suddenly the whole sim starts to stutter and that's really an immersion breaker but now with this uh, that with this dynamic LOD it works perfect so let's come in for a landing let's do a uh, quick descent there's the airport we're way too high for landing but I, uh, I don't care it's just to show how this works so we are approaching the uh, 3000 AGL we're still above 28 frames per second so that's good still smooth flying guys no stutters the only um, shakiness you will see is me talking that's because I'm talking and then the uh, the headset uh, starts to move so now I'm at 27 28 so at one time it will decrease the level of detail but I don't see it in the headset I don't see it on the ground because it's gradually and this really works great and sometimes you see uh, buildings popping in or but that's normal that's what you have in the without it too see on the approach nothing happens it's smooth flying and after the after landing I will uh, show you how to set the uh, the different settings for the LOD how to save it and if the program won't open the window won't open what you have to do because then you have to uh, delete some files and then it will open again but this is a um, is a game changer so even I had it on the uh, on the approach I come about here and then suddenly uh, the headset goes black and it comes back in or the sim freezes for a while normally when the sim freezes the headset goes black it doesn't get a signal okay we're full flaps see no freezes nothing
Here we are. To get the software for the dynamic LOD, you have to download it from the GitHub page. And I will link the software in the uh, description below the video. So once you open the, uh, the web page of GitHub, you will uh, get here and this is what it says. You've got the readme file here and the requirements. And the installer will install the following software, the runtime, Mobi flight. So you don't have to download this file uh, separately. It's all in the new 3.1 version. And then you got the installation update and where you can find all the files. So to get the file, you can click either here or download here. Or click here on the latest one. So we click on the latest one. You will find it here, version 0.3.1. And then you click on this one, the installer.exe file. Download the file, extract it, and then you have to start up the, uh, the exe file. And one thing is very important. As the uh, developer said in the uh, installation notes, do not run the installer as admin. So run it a normal way, but not as admin. When everything is installed correctly, you want to open the program and there's a uh, shortcut on your desktop. Open the dynamic LOD exe file, the program, and you will be welcomed with this window. So before we hit the uh, ready to fly button, I want to uh, show you something. And that's in the, uh, in the settings menu. General options, I'll go to VR and uh, you see I got the ultra quality, that's from my uh, ultra quality uh, video that I made the other day. But we're going to look at the terrain level of detail. It's set at 120 and this one is set at 120. That's because I just did the flight. I can move this up to maximum of 200. Just to make sure that I'm always at 200. This one is 200. Because that's also my maximum that I've set in the uh, dynamic lot software. Now I'm going to hit apply and save. All right. Let's see if anything has changed. No, it's still there. We go back, resume. Now we're going to hit ready to fly. And what you will see is because we are at uh, the CD AGL levels. Coming all right, and now you can see that the uh, connection status from session turned from red to green. So we're now in session. So now we can't change anything of the levels anymore. Otherwise, we're gonna break the software. So now we'll go back to the general options. We'll go back to VR and look what it did. It changed. The terrain level of detail to 100 and 100. Even if we're not in VR yet, it changed the settings in the VR menu here. So when we go up higher, then the terrain level of detail, as you saw in the beginning of the video, will increase or decrease when we descend. Now, if for some reason, when you uh, start making changes at the uh, level of details and the app crashes, and you want to open the uh, the app again and you won't see this window opening again close the app even from your system tray go to explorer go to app data roaming dynamic lod and delete the dynamic lot config file which you see there don't delete the one that you have here in the bin file in the bin folder but this one delete that one start up again and it should be good Okay guys, this was Mike 30 sim and thanks for watching the video. If you like this kind of content with tips, tricks, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And as a token of my appreciation, we're gonna fly over a beautiful heart-shaped lake here in the Pyrenees. There it is.
Okay guys, stay safe during New Year's Eve. Be careful with the fireworks because you need all your fingers and eyes, especially your eyes if you want to fly in VR because it's basically impossible to fly in VR with one eye. So thanks for sticking by. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all soon in the next year. Bye for now. This was Mike. 30 Sim. And I'm gonna enjoy the last two days <laughs> of 2023. Bye bye. And take care.